Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. Today I want to make some chocolate covered fruits with you as you can see. They are great for Valentine's Day as a gift for Mother's Day or whatever you'd love to gift. Just look how amazing they turned out and they taste so amazing. So yes, let's get this started. First of all, you'll need baking paper, a small pot and a little container that fits into that pot. That's where we are going to melt the chocolate. You'll need a strainer. That's where we are going to wash our fruits. Of course, you'll need <laughs> your favorite fruits or any fruits you'd love to do. I chose some strawberries and some bananas. Then of course, you'll need your chocolate. Then you'll also need a little cutting board. That's where we are going to cut our fruits. And of course, we'll need a little knife. Then I'll just already pick up my strawberries, get them out of the box they came in. Look how delicious they are already. Then I'll just put them in my strainer and get them over to my sink so I can wash all the dirt off. Make sure you really uh, wash them properly, but not too much so all the dirt get off but you don't like break the strawberries then i'll bring over my cutting board and my little knife and i'll get rid of like the head of the strawberry and um, the green leaves i personally prefer them without it but you can do it however you want it and yes i picked up the little box they came in so i'm just using it as a little uh, bin <laughs> so yes to keep my kitchen a little bit cleaner then I'll just keep cutting and cutting all the leaves off until my strawberries are all ready so I already cut all my strawberries now I got my bananas left I only picked two I think that's enough for now so then I'll just peel and cut my banana in half. You can also make smaller or bigger pieces. There goes my second banana. I'll just keep peeling and putting the peel into my little bin. And now I have four pieces of banana. You'll need your pot in that little container and now you'll have to put some water into your pot not too much it doesn't have to touch it should not touch the container because you're just going to use the steam to heat the chocolate up not actually the water so i went back and chose my chocolate the one i showed you guys before I already broke it into pieces and started cutting it smaller so the chocolate will melt a little bit faster and it will also melt even. And I'm already putting all my chocolate in the little container. I already turned my stove on and as you can see my chocolate started melting please take care not to move it as much as I did here just move it slowly and a little bit more careful yes as I'm going here a little bit more slowly this is a little bit better so now I take it down from the stove top and please be careful you really just need the hot steam to get the chocolate melted don't get it too hot otherwise it would just not be as smooth as, as you can see it right here I already prepared my baking paper and my fruits and something I forgot before are the wooden toothpicks you will definitely need them to pick up the strawberries 
I'm drying my strawberries again because you should really really be careful not to get water into the chocolate otherwise it will get super clumpy and won't you won't be able to use it as you wanted to so take care not to heat the chocolate up too much and take care not to get water into the chocolate I just put some two or three toothpicks into the strawberry so I got a better grip and then I'll just get it started. I put the strawberry into the chocolate. I like turn it around and yes, you can see it works super, super fine. I'll just pick it up and let the rest of the chocolate like flow down. And this is a little accident that happened to me. I turned the, yes, I held the strawberry in a stupid way so it fell off the sticks. But as you can see, I grabbed it again and put it on the <laughs> toothpicks and held it. So the rest of the chocolate could flow down. And yes, just be careful for yourself when you try it with the wooden toothpicks, not to <laughs> put it that way that it falls into the chocolate. But as you could see, I man managed to get the strawberry out of the chocolate. This is another way to get the chocolate on the strawberry. You can use a spoon and put the chocolate on the strawberry. This is also a very cute way to do it, but I felt like it was easier for me to turn the strawberry in the chocolate. And this time just be super careful not to let it fall into the chocolate again. And the rest of the places I felt like uh, there was chocolate missing. I just took the spoon again and put the chocolate back on. So then I picked up a banana. Since it's a bigger piece, I took at least three wooden toothpicks. And yes, I just put the banana in the chocolate and turned it around. So I didn't have to do that much. So I went to use the spoon again since there were places I felt that there was chocolate missing. As soon as there was enough chocolate, I just put it back on the baking paper and put it to dry. Then you just keep going with all your fruits, your bananas, your strawberries, whatever fruit you picked, until they are all covered in chocolate. This is the final result you guys, they look amazing and taste even better. I hope you tried this recipe, let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. If you like my content and like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yes, let me know how it worked for you. Thank you so so much for watching this video, it was super fun to make. And I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.